In English, we use the verb to go in a lot of different ways. To go red, to go back, to go well with something. But that doesn't mean that all of them are going to be communicated in French by using aller. In this video, I'm going to give you a selection of ways in French to communicate different uses of go or going. Du coup, si vous êtes prêt, allez, c'est parti. Starting simply, we can say, I'm going out. For this, generally speaking, you will use sortir. Either say, je sors, ou je sors faire les courses, or whatever action you want to specify what you're actually leaving to do. But saying it on its own, je sors, is perfectly fine, whatever suits the situation. Sortir can also be used as the French equivalent of to go out with someone. Je sors avec Alex equals I'm going out with Alex. Whether it's romantic or not, you can use the same structure. So that's for I'm going or I'm going out. Then we have I'm leaving and you have a couple of choices here. First, there's je pars, je pars from the verb partir. Using it all on its own like that is all you need to say you're leaving from your current location, like a bar or a restaurant. You can also say je pars chez moi. Je pars chez moi, if you're leaving for your home. Je pars en vacances, if you're leaving on holiday, vacation. There are many ways to use it, simply too many for this one video alone. So that's just to say one way of using I'm going is to say I'm leaving and you can use sortir ou partir. The second option for I'm going, as in I'm leaving, is je m'en vais, je m'en vais, with the verb s'en aller. Son aller. Now I like this one because I hadn't heard this one until I came to France. Simple as that. It's a great alternative to the basic je pars use of partir. Bon, il est tard tout le monde, je m'en vais. Bon, il est tard tout le monde, je m'en vais. Right, it's getting late everyone, I'm going. There are a few more informal and slang ways to say this as I'm sure you could imagine. Let me know in the comments if you want a video on them at some point. Now, what about going back somewhere? If you are going home from somewhere like a bar, cafe, bookshop, city center, whatever, you say je rentre, je rentre from the verb rentrer, je rentre, simple as that. It's that notion of going back to where you started, which is often home, that enables you to pick rentrer over retourner. Retourner also means to go back, but is less tied to home. Imagine you had a great adventure somewhere and you vow to go back one day. Un jour, je retournerai au Mexique. Un jour, je retournerai au Mexique. One day, I will go back to Mexico. To go backwards, so not back, but backwards, is different for different situations. You're already seeing how many nuances there are in this, in this verb, right? To go backwards on foot would be marcher, so to walk, marcher en arrière, marcher en arrière, je marche en arrière. While to move backwards more generally, and even very specifically to say go back in time, whether that be in a time machine or to wish that you could turn back time, you're going to use the verb revenir with en arrière. Je ne peux pas revenir en arrière. I can't go back in time. Ensuite, we have to go crazy or mad or red, i.e. we sometimes use go to talk about a change of state. In French, you'd use devenir, devenir for many of them, but not all. Il devient fou, il devient fou, he is going crazy or he's going mad. Elle devient rouge, elle devient rouge. For this last one, we can also say elle rougit, elle rougit from the verb rougir, which means to blush or to redden. For those that can't use devenir, they have their own verbs, such as for food to go bad. It's a change of state, going from ripe to bad. Les pommes se sont rapidement gâtées à cause de la chaleur. Les pommes se sont rapidement gâtées à cause de la chaleur. The apples went bad or they spoiled quickly because of the heat. So you can see this to go bad as to spoil. Le lait a tourné. Le lait a tourné. The milk went bad or turned. I found that this verb tourné is specific for milk going bad. Along the same lines, there is to go from bad to worse for a situation. La situation empire tous les jours. La situation empire tous les jours. With the verb empirer, to worsen, to go bad. Alternatively, there's aller de mal en pis. Aller de mal en pis. La situation va de mal en pis. 
Another interesting use of to go, which actually directly translates to French, is to say something matches well with something. It goes well with something. Or two things go together. Alors, qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Je suis prêt pour la plage? Oui, oui, le chapeau et uh, la chemise, um, ils vont très bien ensemble. Ils vont très bien ensemble. Ouais, super. C'est parti. Allez, on y va. Ils vont bien ensemble. Something like a hairstyle or a piece of clothing can go with a person as well. This is aller à quelqu'un, also known as to suit someone. Let's have a look at a sketch. Hey Alex, je t'avoue que j'aime bien ta coupe de cheveux. Ah, merci beaucoup. Je me rase la tête moi-même. Je me rase la tête moi-même. Oui, oui, ça te va bien. Très bien. Ça te va bien. Très bien. Ça te va bien. Ça te va bien. Another super important way to use go is to talk about how something's going or how it went. For this, we use the verb se passer. Se passer. An example in the present tense is J'espère que ton entretien d'embauche se passe bien. J'espère que ton entretien d'embauche se passe bien. I hope your job interview goes well. And afterwards, you could ask, Alors, ça s'est bien passé? Alors, ça s'est bien passé? So, did it go well? If you want to talk about how something is, remember in French to use aller, like you say, je vais bien ou ça va bien, to talk about yourself. The same thing goes for how anything is going. Le nouveau travail va bien. Le nouveau travail va bien. The new job is going well. I know in English you might often say the new job is good, but it's better to say aller in French. Le nouveau travail va bien. Ça n'allait plus à mon ancien travail. Ça n'allait plus à mon ancien travail. It wasn't going well anymore at my old job. What if your car won't start? It won't go. How do you say that in French? Well, we use the verb démarrer. Démarrer, which is the verb to start when we're talking about machines. La voiture ne démarrait pas ce matin, donc j'ai dû appeler un garagiste. La voiture ne démarrait pas ce matin, donc j'ai dû appeler un garagiste. The car wouldn't start this morning, so I had to call a mechanic. Voilà, you can download a PDF of the terms taught in this video by clicking the link in the description down below. Until next time, merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé. If you enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. It takes two seconds and I would really, really appreciate it. But for now, à la prochaine tout le monde. Ciao.